M0 FXP Handtech. Welcome back to my videos using the Y03 Golf Golf X-Ray software, also known as Jarek version 4.2. So I'll put the link in the description. You can see it here just in the middle. There's other software that you can see all quite interesting and some of which you may recognize. Okay, but I'm using this one here 4.2. So let's install it. You can see that it's working great on my ICOM 705. All I needed was one cable going into the USB port on the right hand side and into my PC. If I right click my device manager here, Windows Squares, Device Manager, and then it's just select ports. And you can see it's the top one, which is COM10. So yeah, make sure you've installed your ICOM drivers and you'll be fine. And, and then if I disconnect completely, turn down my radio a minute and close this window down and I'm going to show you the installation process. So we're going to exit it completely. The first thing I would do is create a new folder. So I always put them on the end here. So right click on your desktop, new folder and call it Jarek. Why not? J-A-R-E-C-3 because I've been, I've, I've already created one, but let's just do this for this video. Jarek, then go to the download and the link will be in the description and I'm Windows. So then just click Windows 64. The zip will go to your downloads folder. You can just see here, click that. And then oh, I'll do that again. Click, click the zip and then just extract that folder. So select the word extract at the top. Find the folder that you just created. I call it Jarek3. Uh, so on here, you can click desktop. Then you can go, just making sure you can see this. Desktop, find the folder. So J, Jarek3, we call it, there it is. Click OK. And that's it, it will send it to that folder. Now go back to that folder double click it, then double click run debug, right at the bottom, double click it. And then it's up to you, of course, if you run anything on your PC to take the risk. So you get this window open here. And then straight afterwards, you'll get this window open. Okay, and it asks you to create a profile. Put in so ICOM 705. It doesn't have to say ICOM 705, but it's so you can recognize it because you can create new profiles for more radios that you can use within the same program. Click OK. So that profile has a name and then you can just give it a name it again. ICOM 705 and it puts this profile in the same folder as all the rest. So there you are. The next thing is to find our com number and connect our radio. So right click the Windows squares here at the bottom, select device manager, and just find that number again. Remember we already looked at this and it was, if we double click ports on the left and it was 10, COM 10, okay, just here. So we can close that, so remember it's COM 10. So where it's red there, it says cat serial port, and of course the cable is in your PC and your radio, your 705. Click COM10, board rate, I'm pretty sure I did 19200. I've left everything else. Now you can click this here and start selecting sounds. I haven't done nothing because I'm happy to listen to it from the radio at the moment. I think I'll do separate videos on that. And the same goes if you use it, it says here use radio audio, which I tick. And then it says here, you can, I just leave it unticked and it just works. And use headset. As well you've got these options here but again I haven't touched that and then we're going to click start you've got auto start if you want it we'll go start it asks you to load the radio so every time you use a radio with this system you have to upload the file that's been created by um, sorry Dan yo3 ggx to for different radios so go file download radio config you get another window choose icon if you're on an icon and then 705 which is there of course there's lots and lots of radios here 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to go up to 705. I think it'd be pretty cool with my 7100 as well. And then click download and it's virtually instant and it's got that now. So now we'll, we'll, we'll check, we'll tick start. If you're successful so far, you'll get this window and now we're going to hit connect. And it will come to life. Let me just turn up the volume. And to enable faster tuning, you can click fast down here and the word fast appears. So let's just click that and then we'll scroll in with my mouse. Not the best. It's not silly busy, is it? It was really good earlier. It's a shame. So I'm just rolling with my mouse. Quite a lot of QRM there, probably to do with the washing machines on the hoovers on the LED lights are on so I don't normally get that amount of um, background noise there Let's see if I can just turn the LED light off see if that helps now it didn't make much difference but anyway you know we're just showing you how this works now Unfortunately, the waterfall doesn't work on this. If you look down here at the bottom, it says waterfall. And it says you have to enable auto info. Now, if we disconnect a second, close, and up here where it says tuner, let's have a look, help. There it is there, settings. It says auto info. You turn that on, and then the idea is that when you click again, connect, and then you select waterfall but it says here not support waterfall not supported uh, with it but I have enabled it so that's that's not working I don't know if there's a file let's turn it down I don't know if there's a file that we have to import or anything like that if someone knows how to get the waterfall working on this let me know um, I've only just connected this now but let's just change bands uh, let's have a look now. Where are we? 40 meter on the bottom left. We can go to 20. It's even CB. I mean, don't forget this radio covers everything. Um, as you can see, go like so. I'm trying to find 20 now. I'm blind. Cool. Look at that interference. I don't normally get anything like that. But, you know, the bottom line is all your controls are here. RIT, Vox, Compress, Squelch. Filters, noise levels, noise reduction, monitor levels, soft. It's all here. And down here at the bottom, you've got Memories, Kia, Mute, Waterfall, PTT. Look, M0 FXB test. You can see it going into PTT. If we had a, a, a tuner, an ICOM tuner, we could tune. And we've got uh, also PTT lock as well. I know that you can do, uh, there's a, I think now, I'm pretty sure there's a log book as well somewhere. Can't find it right now. RF gain. You've got some sort of presets there as well. You can enter the frequency just, if you tap the frequency, you can type the frequency 7.150. And there you are and it's working great come on it's just like it's one cable you know and i've only just touched the surface here there's a whole manual that you can download as well and it's massive so thanks loads to to dan yo3 gdx we've already tested this that it, it, it works nice with the it's just a nice program and check out all of the rest of the work that Dan does if you want to donate it's there there's certain apps that you can buy and lots of videos on YouTube got one here called the blue blue NA and there's there's quite a lot to explore here what's that one there Windows soft phone hmm, that's interesting because I'm into to using that things like that hang up hold Windows software phone based on IX2 protocol so it's like a soft phone maybe that will link into my uh, all-star node down here info X version infrared remote manager cool 
so yeah basically lots to explore and we are yeah we bet definitely very much appreciate the work that you've done dan but bye for now and 73 and still learning i think i'm going to do the zygu x6 200 next bye for now